whatever its announced results are going to be and however Trump world is going to react when Arizona says whatever it was, the results, whatever it is, the results are of this process and whatever else happens here. It does appear clear at this point that many figures in Trump world have figured out how to make a ton of money off of this thing. Um, here, for example, is a man named Patrick Byrne. He is a pro-Trump conspiracy theorist. He had to leave his job as CEO of Overstock.com after it was revealed that he'd had an affair with a woman named Maria Butina, who was later convicted of being a Russian agent. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Patrick Byrne wrote a book about election fraud um, and how he, think, how he thinks the 2020 election was, was stolen. And he's, of course, made a bunch of money on that book. He's now, in addition to that, made a movie about this supposed election fraud, and he seems to be making a ton of money on that. This movie stars all, the whole cast of characters from the Arizona audit debacle. They're all on camera explaining all the fantastical ways in which they're sure that the 2020 election was rigged and stolen from Donald Trump. But I said they're making money on it because look at how they're they're distributing this thing. Just to watch a live stream of the premiere of this movie... You had to pay $45. Uh, you can also pay a minimum of $500 to license it and host your own screening of it. Patrick Byrne is also now doing a pay to subscribe blog uh, where he just blogs about the election being stolen. He's apparently, according to calculations by the Washington Post, on track to make about a million and a half dollars himself just from people subscribing to read his blog posts about his election conspiracy theories. I mean, between the the book about the supposed election fraud and the movie that costs between forty five and five hundred dollars to watch about the supposed election fraud and his pay to read my blog post thing about the election fraud, dude is making enough money off of these claims for ele election fraud that he is now employing Trump national security advisor and convicted felon Mike Flynn. He employs Mike Flynn to full time talk about the supposed election fraud. That's his job now. And you know what the worst of all of this is for Donald Trump? None of that money is going to him. <laughs> we all have learned in this much time that he hates it when people make money off him that he could be making. Uh, but sure enough, the Washington Post reports that according to several Trump advisors, he is, quote, annoyed at all the groups that are now raising money off of his rhetoric about the election being stolen. But it really is so lucrative. Every grifter worth their salt is drawn to this Arizona circus or wherever the next fake audit is going to be. And once the audit has become you know, just a money-making thing, because however much Trump is hanging on it, it's not actually going to get him reinstated as president. Once it's just something that's designed to rile people up enough that they are willing to be parted from their money, and that becomes the the not just sort of side hustle here, but the main purpose of what's going on here, as that has increasingly sort of taken over in terms of what's happening in Arizona, there are increas increasingly zero qualms about just going full hardcore conspiracy theory. Mm -hmm.